So you have bought a new solar generator. Welcome. Oh. And you are having a lot of questions about your new solar generator. You don't know if all the things you are seeing about it is good or bad. You have a lot of questions about it. You're observing a lot of things. You don't know if it's good or bad, especially when you have called that your electrician. Please, I bought this uh, solar generator. Is this thing that is doing, is it good? Uh, if I'm charging it, the charger is very hot. Is it supposed to be so? And if I'm charging it, it is as if it's climbing up later, it will come down. It's go it's charging up and charging down. Is it good? You know, you have all these questions about your solar generator. Questions like, will you keep your solar generator outside? Am I going to connect it to change over? Am I going to use my generator wire to plug on it? Like plug my generator wire on it and start using it. You have all these questions. Calm down, calm down, calm down. So we are going to answer many of these questions in this video. So before I continue, let me welcome you to Benedict Electrical. Here we handle sales and installation of solar system effortlessly. Thank you for always coming back to watch our videos. And if this is your first time of seeing our video, please like and share, <laughs> follow and subscribe to our channel so let's get ahead to the video we have today so once you bought your new solar generator whether big or small the first thing you do is to charge it please charge it very well just like your new phone you just bought a new solar generator don't just uh, put things plug your whatever you want to plug the whether they carry your television for how long no because many people are always in a rush to do that they will plug their, te their television they will put fridge put everything to know the highest power where it fits uh, and take don't do that first of all give it first time full charge just like new phone and once you have given it first time full charge then you can now use the things you want to use according to the specification that is meant for that solar generator not the one that is meant for laptop you now go and put your fridge inside the one that is meant for fridge you now go and put ac you're on your own though you go just kill your television uh, your solar generator throw away immediately so let's go to the next item consider this your solar generator your big power bank for bigger appliances just like you have your power bank for your phone your solar generator is like your big power bank for bigger appliances in your house or in your office so if you have your solar generator you have a bigger power bank that you can use to power bigger appliances and solar generator you don't just place it you don't just place solar generator outside the way you place your your normal generator you know the one you you keep outside in your generator house you don't keep the generator like that the way you place your stabilizer you know near your fridge or near your um stereo or television system that is where you put your solar generator can just put it around that area the only thing that goes outside is the panel that extends outside you know the way you have your normal solar system and uh, some people they don't they don't have the solar system the generator is confusing them with the you know, manual inverter system so the 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 generator solar generator is all in one it has the inverter inside it has the charge controller inside it has the uh, um the battery inside so it's all in one it is not it doesn't have a separate battery this and that everything is inside like this mini one you have here now the battery is inside the charge controller is inside the inverter is inside the only thing that extends outside is the the panel which straps the sun to charge it it's as simple as that you understand you can just place it inside at your television area and use where you want to use plug your extension and use and it can be run to a changeover switch please it's not like you carry your your switch that you use on your generator and come and plug inside no it doesn't work like that if if you have a solar generator a separate uh, changeover installation is going to be made for it in particular the way you have a changeover installed for your generator you install another one another one will be installed another changeover switch will be installed for the solar hope you understand so if it's the one that uh, you don't want to that is not running to change over you can just plug the extension something like this you can just plug the extension plug all your items and use you understand but if it's the one you're running to change over change over switch it gives light to the whole house 
to give light to the whole house and you can use your item so the solar generator can be charged with electricity and also solar panel if you if you bought it for the first time and you have electricity please use the electricity and charge it it will be faster for you you understand you can also use solar panel if you don't have electricity no problem but electricity is always faster use electricity and give it first time full charge you understand and before you start using and the charger is usually warm and hot in some cases depending on the particular solar generator when you are charging it if you are charging it with that adapter that you use for electricity charging no something like this something like this or something like this i don't want to shift a lot of things here sorry <laughs> i'm trying not to shift a lot of things the adapter is usually very hot so in some cases and uh, warm in some cases when you are charging it with a lift. so it's normal and when you are charging solar generator it does not move straight like one percent two percent three percent until it gets to hundred percent many of the solar generator the full charge is 14.6 you understand not hundred percent you might be charging and be waiting for it to read hundred percent to not read hundred percent the full charge most of the time is 14.6 and when it's charging the movement moves like uh, you know uh 11.8 it will be show you 11.3 and and 10.9 it will move him up and down up and down like that until he gets to that 14.6 and immediately you 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 is this 14.3 and you plug it out it will show you 13.6 or 13.8 you understand it will show you 13 13 point or even 12.9 so it is very normal with solar generator nothing is wrong if you're observing all these things in your new solar in your new solar generator nothing is wrong nothing is wrong when you have charged fully to 14.6 and you unplug it you look at the reading the reading will go back to 13.9 or so it's very very normal so you will not freak out and say this thing is going backward it is very very normal that's how solar generators behave it does not stay steady at that 14 points once it is not charging you unplug it you go back to 13 point something it's very very normal it does not mean that uh, it did not charge well or it has issue it doesn't have issue so if you're observing all these things in your solar generator it is very very normal and when it gets down to um 11 point something 12 points 3 11.9 11.5 it is already down as at that time it will no longer supply ac output this ac output will no longer supply if you plug a big something like your television or your laptop it might not supply but uh, if you are charging phone on the dc output on this side or you're using the dc bulb that come with it it might supply at that point it is down you understand and when it's down like that please charge it don't always use to zero until it goes down to zero zero before you start because sometimes if it goes down dead like it's not showing any number is already down completely it might take time before it wakes again or you might be using solar panel to charge it to not wake until you get electricity and plug it before it will wake or you will need to allow it to rest for some hours 12 hours also you now charge it the next day before it will display all these things are normal so if you're seeing all these things in your solar generator don't freak out and say uh, they have given me fake <laughs> we hear a lot every day <laughs> it's like this one is not is is malfunctioning it is not malfunctioning okay so these are the things you observe in your solar generators which are very very normal don't freak out please understand and uh, what else is there to say the solar generator you have bought and uh, you want to connect to the panel is not all of them that have something that you just pull in <coughs> and they stand outside like smaller ones like this 300 watts and below it has um you can itself use you can just use it don't need expertise you can just plug in and they stand outside something like this Say, I don't want to fall things, so that's why I've not been raising things here. Uh -huh. This one now, for example, 
this is a panel that we have for fans that doesn't have panel so this is a panel and it's something like this so if it's one that has a this you can see this wire is very 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 long so you can just plug this on your generator like this and they stand outside or extend to the roof this one is self-operated but when you buy all these bigger ones 1.5 kva 1000 watts that the panel is totally different i will display the picture of the panels i'm talking about the panel is totally different you don't it's not something you operate by yourself so go, don't go and be cutting positive and negative and be joining by yourself you spoil it those big ones they need expertise it's not even an electrician it's engineers that work on solar panel engineers that will help you to install it engineers not electrician electrician will even, it will even burn for electrician hand so we have engineers everywhere who install solar panels so it's no longer new most of the building before you count one two three five building you will see panel on top building so they have engineers everywhere if you have a big solar generator please don't try to install by yourself especially when there is a you is, is coming with this um not panel that you just plug and they stand outside the one that they need to join two or three panels they have given you two or three panels then there is a lot of connection engineer work to be done there please let them do their work so that you will not spoil your solar system and you will not have something sparking on your roof nobody wants that <laughs> so <laughs> that being said if you have uh, i think i've touched most of the things i have um, prepared for this video if you have any other question which you are expecting me to you know touch in this video that i have not touched please leave a comment for us and you can also reach out to us on our whatsapp uh, um, line and uh, make further inquiries we are always out to give you whatever you want to know concerning your solar system both the one you have gotten from us the one you got elsewhere we always help people with what they don't know we don't have problem extending our helping hand and uh, that being said we sell solar and electrical products solar generators solar inverters solar um, panels solar um, batteries you know wow. uh -huh. solar fans solar rechargeable fans all of them are available on our store so you can just come in for pickup you can order from anywhere you are in nigeria we will bring it to you and that is all we have for this video please thank you for if you have stayed up to this point that means this uh, video has been important to you so engage you can share it to people who need it you can download and watch later you can do a lot of things follow us on other social media <laughs> so that will be all please stay tuned for another video we'll try to make it more often than we have time for <laughs> and uh, for our short videos they are up on the channel and other social media on daily basis so thank you for watching and uh, see you on our next video bye